But regardless of what your current standpoint of nursing is, if you're feeling the burnout and are kind of regretting going into it, I don't think you should regret it. It's still a wonderful career. It has, I'm sure has taught you so much just about life, about society, about people, about finances, because every patient is a different story and it's always some kind of a knowledge that you could get from it in, in a sense. And I understand that you might feel burned out, but I don't think you should feel that you regret going to nursing because everyone's going to reach that point in life, in their career where they're going to think back and be like, damn, I wish I would have done something else. That's just standard. That's just standard of people doing the same thing over and over again for years and years at a time. Everybody gets those feelings. Just try not to lose the concept or the, of concept or the idea of why you enter nursing, what really drew you into nursing and have that push you forward because like I said again is if you are feeling the burnout of nursing maybe it's time for a change maybe it's time you think about maybe going back to school maybe trying to get that get that maybe manager's position or assistant manager's position or educator position there's so much stuff you could you could do I don't think you should completely leave bedside that's what you want to do um, I understand that a lot of nurses have second jobs or maybe things that they're working on. Doing part-time is always an option. Let's just say you're a nurse trying to, you know, pursue like a sales position. And you're doing that sales position part-time while you're doing that that in-hospital staff job full-time. Maybe you should ditch nursing right away. Just maybe downscale the nursing to part-time, pursue that other job in, in sales, maybe full-time, and make like a slow transition because nursing offers you a lot of insight. Every patient is different. Every patient comes from a different background and you could literally talk to them about what they did in their career, how they felt, what they learned, all those things that you could still learn from them. If you're doing like let's say a sales job, a lot of our patients have been salesmen, car salesmen, mortgage salesmen, people doing all types of sales and you could just talk to them and get some knowledge off, off of them on how to work a sale, what did they find to work best, how do they approach customers, all that kind of stuff.